Hi, I'm Benjamin Brown. Pray these videos courage and strength in you. And if they are, please share and like. Check out www.hortonbrotherscrafts.com, all lowercase, and that's a coffee uh, uh, cup. But anyway, what an honor and privilege. I don't take this for granted. It's a true pleasure and honor to to get to do this. You know, it's so important, you know, that our eyes and ears are open to the truth. And this book is the truth. The, you know, the more we dig, the more we seek, the more we we worship him, praise him, look to him, realize that he laid his life down so we can come and live through him because the world, once Adam and Eve took that uh, bite of that fruit of the good, of knowledge of good and evil, the world has fallen. And uh, it's always, always will be like that until Jesus comes to reign forever. But we are in a spiritual battle between light and darkness. And the flesh, because we were born here, desires the, the things that the worldly view, the darkness, the, you know, it's, it's, it's a spiritual battle. And the enemy wants us to do things that are selfish, our own, what we want, and uh but jesus what he was able to defeat that he was you know perfect in every way not one sin oh my gracious you know that's why he was the only one that could defeat him have to have the perfect right in every way not one flaw not one sin that's why when we see and he opens our eyes and ears and we hear, we get to accept him as our Lord and Savior. And we get to live through him. And uh, we live in a time of repentance to realize when we fall short, and we do, but when we fall short, we can come to him and ask for strength, for encouragement to help us show us where I am wrong. Well, where our eyes could be open and then we can come to him and he said, pray in my name, because where we are weak, he is strong. And when he reveals these things to us, you know, he shows us and uh, believe it or not, there's so many things that, uh, you know, we can choose. Right. And uh, he was perfect in every way. And he'll meet us where we're at. And the enemy wants us to think it's too late. And he wants us, the enemy wants us to love the fleshly things of this world and to not even realize that Jesus is on the right hand side of his father and he laid his life down and he was perfect in every way. And when we accept him as our Lord and Savior, we get to live through him and every ounce of that blood so precious and we get and he laid his life down on that cross and he made that pathway and the father said the only way to me is by accepting my only begotten son as your lord and savior and he knows where we are weak and he knows more than what we know and that where we what we need help with and what he does he tries to show us these things and uh when you struggle in them things and addictions you know is one of them anger you know lashing out frustration uh you know violence you know cursing and these are all you know things that people struggle with and i'm here to encourage you strengthen you to let you know that jesus died for everything that we fall short on and he wants these things that we struggle with even past hurts you know even like my divorce right at that time it was a true struggle and battle but because you know and i've even had family members say I couldn't do what you do. There's no way I would do that. There's no way I would, I would have her staying with me. Live, and I gave her the master bedroom. I gave her a year. I felt led to by the Holy Spirit that came on me very strong at that time when I was in truly a strong battle, and it was not easy. But you know, to know that the Holy Spirit was there, and He's the one that strengthened me. It's kind of like my mom had that picture in the house where. There was footsteps on the beach in the sand, and that uh, picture was something like, "Lord, when my 
worst moment when I truly needed you? Why would why did you leave me alone? There's only one set of footprints. Basically, I never leave you or forsake you. I'm always with you. And in that uh, picture, it said something like uh, the one set of footsteps, footprints that you've seen in that sand were my footsteps because I was carrying you. That's why your footsteps wasn't there. Because at that time, in our weakest moment, he is carrying us. And that's what he did for me at that time. And my family members and people like, you're crazy. I, there's no way she'd be standing there. And there's no way I would give her the master bedroom. There's no way I would do that for a year. And there's no way I would, you know, it, 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 it's not me. It's him in me. It's him in you. Greater is he that's in you than the one that's in the world. And the enemy wants us to fight to argue, to create conflict. But uh, my son was, uh, you know, young then, like eight or nine, and I seen the hurt in his eyes. And he's like, couldn't you two just get along anymore? And that's when I went out and prayed on my porch. And it was the second time I heard the Holy Spirit. And he, it wasn't the answer that I wanted to hear, but I'm sitting there praying, worship, looking in his word. And, you know, I would go out there hour and a half, two hours. and Finally, he's like, love her. I'm like, what? Love her. Yep. Love her. Love her. Yep. Love her. And I was like, okay, Lord, I'm I'm going to do my best to, to love her. But th this is really hard. She's, you know, what she was doing and uh, wasn't easy, but, you know, for about 45 seconds, I'm sitting here trying to explain to him and, uh, oh my gracious, now how deep I'm with him now. And he's like, I know what betrayal is like, Judas. I know what that's like, you know, to be hurt, to lose someone I love, Lazarus, but he resurrected him after he was dead for four days. But still, he knows what pains we go through because he lived here. And I'm sitting here going through like, you know, oh my gracious, you want me to do this. And I, I, I. I don't know. I'm going to try my best in uh, about 45 seconds to a minute. Me, I'm sitting here trying to explain this to him. And he goes, he sums it all up. And he said, because I loved you. Because he knew in my weakness, right? My fleshly at that time, I was weak, but his Holy Spirit in him came rising up in me very strong. And that's why I was able to love her. And we celebrated our anniversary. We celebrated Mother's Day because I felt led. And, you know, she would look at me and say, I don't understand why you're doing this. Because Jesus said, I love you. The Lord told me to love you. And that's what I'm going to do. And anytime we get frustrated or aggravated, we need to just walk away from each other because Benjamin doesn't need that our son because I could see the hurt. He was crying and upset. And, uh, you know, Jesus has showed me how to walk a whole lot slower with his spirit and love his people a whole lot deeper. And the devil wanted me to argue, to fight, to create conflict because that's what he loves. And I'm here to encourage you, strengthen you, let you know where we are weak. He is strong. And when you ask him to come in, he will. I would never leave you or forsake you. The Holy Spirit is in us when you have him as your Lord and Savior. And when you dig in his word, this is truly living. He's alive sitting on the right hand side of his father. In the pains we deal with today, he understands every ounce of it, every pain, because he knows the truth. And the enemy knows the truth because he knows his time is short. And that's why he comes to do what he does. He's trying to steal as many souls as he can and to disrupt what God's trying to do in your life. Because he knows those who stand on Jesus are a big threat to him and all them fallen angels. They know that. And they know when you come into, when we come into our identity in Christ, that we get to live through him. And we get to realize that demons have to submit to us through the power in the name of Jesus and that blood. And when you come into that identity, greater is he that's in us than the one that's in the world. And that's why today's message is so powerful. Where we are weak, he is strong and he wants our weaknesses. So I'm here to encourage you and strengthen you. It's not about Benjamin Brown. It's all about him. Oh, my gracious. We've been into this. I haven't even opened up in prayer. Glory to God. But anyway. 
He knows where you're at. He knows what you're dealing with. And I'm telling you right now, I rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus and all them. They got to let go of the things that he has for you and what you're struggling with. I declare it in the name of Jesus right now, today, in the name of Jesus for all of us on these videos. He's the truth and the life. I'll never leave you or forsake you. Amen. But anyway, let's open up in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, way you are coming on today. Come speak to your people. What you did 2,000 years ago, Brother Jesus, is still working today. I know who strengthened me through my divorce. I know who strengthens me to, to, to still today. I know it's your Holy Spirit. Wonder, wonder, wonder working power in the blood of the precious Lamb who laid his life down. Those who come to me will thirst no more. Those who seek me will, will, will see the truth. That I laid my life down and I, I can open your eyes and ears when you come to me and pray in my name. If it lines up with the Father's will, it shall be done. And come speak to your people because it's so important. Jesus, it's not about Benjamin Brown. It's about you that they are so precious. The enemy comes to steal souls and tries to stop people from becoming what you see. The promises you have for us are true. You have everything in the palm of your hands and he has to submit to you he has to have permission to do what he does to us in our unbelief our doubt our fears that's a lie from him come strengthen all of us in these videos give us the strength and the courage through your holy spirit wonder working power of you in jesus christ's name come speak to your people so important amen but anyway wow wow i wasn't oh my gracious you know i want him to lead us in Remember that picture that I described about the beach and the one set of footsteps. When you think you're alone, you're never alone. He's there carrying you. And the devil wants you to think, oh, see that? He's not with you anymore. He's mad at you. That's a lie. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. He's a big fat liar and Jesus is going to set him on fire. But anyway, let's read verse or Hebrews 7 verse 28. So powerful. For the law appoints as a high priest men and all their weaknesses but the oath which came from after the law appointed the son who has been made perfect forever you know the battle we are in here is truly a spiritual battle darkness and light the enemy wants us to choose the darkness of the world the things that he loves violence hate anger, discouragement, depression, to think that we're not good enough, that Jesus isn't there, that he laid his life down on that cross for every single person, every one of his people, that his daughters and sons, that he opens eyes and ears so you could see the true prize in Jesus. This is what the enemy comes to do, to steal souls and to make those who do see Jesus and know he's there to try to come to, to, to steal these precious seeds where we can grow stronger in him, become in our identity and know who we stand on and know who we are, that our Lord, laid his life down so we can live through him and accept him. And when we come in our weakness, he will not put on you more than what you can handle. And when we come in our weakness, it could be too that he's trying to build in you and strengthen you. And the only way to allow that, honestly, as they said in Luke, was it Luke? Oh, amen, Jesus. Luke, Luke 20. Three or ten? No, twenty-two. Yes. Verse thirty-three. Simon, Simon, Satan hath asked to sift you all of you as wheat. You know, if you're asking to be more like Jesus, eventually he will come not to tear you down because Jesus wants to strengthen you, to encourage you, to make you stronger for what you have to do if you're asking. To do more for his glory, his kingdom. As Paul said, a thorn in my side used to be Saul. And uh, glory to Jesus. That is in. First Corinthians. 
ask them. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians, uh, verse seven. Because of that surpassing great revelation, therefore, in order to keep me from becoming conceited, I was given a thorn in my flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me. Verse 8, therefore, times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. When he's building us and strengthening us for a greater purpose, we have to understand how he works to the enemy because it helps us to help our people, his people. That's what we're called to do, to strengthen each other. Where one or two are gathered and minding, we're having church. And it's not about Benjamin, it's all about him. And I pray and I know the devil knows too that these videos encourage and strengthen in his people. He knows it. And the more he's working on you, the greater the calling on your life. So the more that he's coming to you and saying, oh, see that you can't do that. Give up on that. You can't do that. Just stay where you're at. That's a lie. And where we just read today, we were born in this world where it was already here. And what he does, the enemy. We are truly in a spiritual battle. The fleshly desires wants what it wants. And I'm here to tell you, you know, I struggle with this. We all will until the day that Jesus cracks that sky like a big slice of apple pie and come back and take care of his business. And the devil knows Revelations 12, 12 and all them fallen angels. They know their time is short here. Remember in Mark chapter five, where that demon possessed man, which is all demons that Old fallen angels were in that man. Over, over 2,000 of them, the legion was their name. Remember, he said, do not torture me, the son of the most high God. Because they know, they know what the outcome is for what they did. And I'm here to encourage you and strengthen you. Remember, greater is he that's in you than the one that's in the world. Greater is he that's in me than the one that's in the world. You know, I would never dream that I'd be on these videos. And, you know, I, if someone told me four years, like eight months ago, what I'll be doing, no way. But it's not me because he's the way. It's his Holy Spirit, wonder, 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 working power in the blood of the lamb. I will send the advocate to you. And. You know, if we go to John, glory to God, John, well, you know, you can go to 15 and also it's in, uh, I believe it's like first Corinthians, but in Acts, but anyway, you know, 26 and actually when you go to uh, 15, okay, uh, John 15 20, 26, and 27, the title is The Work of the Holy Spirit, and it goes into chapter 16. But when the advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who goes out from the Father, he will testify about me, and you also must testify, for you have been with me from the beginning. You know, when we accept him as our Lord and Savior, we understand that Jesus has always been with his father and we accept him as our Lord and Savior. The Holy Spirit will never leave you or forsake you. Jesus said, I'll never leave you or forsake you. It's so powerful. And I'm here to encourage you, strengthen you. And if you go down in uh, John 16, verse 7, but very truly I tell you, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go away and send him to you, wow, did you catch that? When he goes away, and that's what he did when he laid his life down, I will send him to you. Glory to God. So powerful. And uh, it's so great. And it's an honor and privilege to get to do this. It's not about me. It's all about him. He is worthy of it. And I'm here to encourage you and strengthen you.
And I want you to understand. He loves you so much. And when you think you're alone and he has abandoned you, I'm here to tell you that's a lie from the devil. Remember that picture that I described about the beach and the footprints. That there is only one set. Like when I was going through my divorce, it was him carrying me. That's what he does in all weaknesses. He comes in like a raging flood. And he holds you up. And he strengthens you. So I'm here to encourage you, to strengthen you, to let you know. Don't give up that good fight. Because he's going to make everything right. Because he's the truth and the light. In the light that he shines. In a matter of fact, Jesus Christ, thank you for the light you give us. Let all of us shine brighter in this world to help bring glory to your kingdom. That's who we stand on, your righteousness, your glory. Show us your way, your righteousness to be more like you. Help us shine your light in this dark world and push back his big fat lies. He's a liar and you're going to set him on fire when you return. You are going to judge them angels. And everyone that does not stand on you, they will be thrown in the lake of fire with him. And that's what he comes to do, Lord. Open eyes and ears to pull the precious people, precious souls that he comes to steal to the truth. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Glory to God. But anyway, if that's you, now he's opening your eyes and ears and you realize what he did for you. You wouldn't accept them as your Lord and Savior. Heaven erupts with everyone in it. Devil gets so angry and frustrated with every soul he loses. That's why it's so powerful. But anyway, let's pray. We're going to go deeper. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your only begotten Son. So powerful, so beautiful what you did, Jesus. Even you were afraid, terrified in that garden. You said, Father, if there's any other way, remove this cup from me. But nevertheless, your will be done. You were so scared. You sweated blood. You know what it's like to live here. Every aspect. You know what it's like to lose a loved one when Lazarus died. But you know what you can do because you told the sister, did I tell you not to believe and you will see the glory of God? You were frustrated because they didn't believe and have faith in you, what you were truly are. And you said, I am the resurrecting life. Life is through me. And when you accept me, I'm the one that can raise the dead. I'm the one that can raise you in your weaknesses because I send the Holy Spirit to you. I'm the one that will strengthen you. When you're weak, I'm strong. And that one set of footprints that you have in the beach at the sand, that's me carrying you because I adore you and I am for you. I will never leave you or forsake you. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6. And if we go to Joshua 1, same thing, check it out. In Deuteronomy 31, verse 8, no, I will never leave you. No, I will never forsake you. Thank you for opening my eyes and I see now, Jesus, you are the true prize. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Continue to strengthen me. Continue to let me realize all the sins that I have committed From the day we were into this world to right now, I give to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. You wash me white as snow. You send the advocate who strengthens me, who encourages me, and never leave me or forsake me. Thank you, Jesus. Put a hunger and thirst in all of us to grow in you, to realize the one set of footprints in that sand is you carrying us and you never leave us. In Jesus Christ's name, and you're going to take care of the liar. Set him on fire when you return. Amen. Welcome, brother and sister. Sorry about that. We went really deep, but hey, I go where I feel led, and I'm here to tell you, strongholds are breaking off of you. In the name of Jesus, he has to let go of all of us on these videos because you are the way, and anybody that does not come to you, accept you as your Lord and Savior, will pay, and that's what he's trying to do to steal as many souls, but glory to Jesus if he's opened your eyes. Give him praise and let him know how grateful we are for you, Jesus. I am so grateful. I know I cannot do this on my own. It's you in me and you in us. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Welcome, brother and sister, to the family. You just accepted the perfect shepherd, the one that is greater than the one in the world that he beat it and triumphed over darkness. They couldn't shake him, and they know it. But anyway, he's the truth and the life. Welcome to the family.
But anyway, let's close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. You're the truth and the life. Thank you for speaking to your people on these videos, strengthening them, encouraging them. You're rising up in us. Use this temple to speak to your precious people. They are more than just people. They're, they are your sons and daughters. They are precious souls that he is lying to, and he has to let go of them. In Jesus Christ's name, you are greater. Amen. Welcome, brother and sister. He sees you. He adores you. Most importantly, he is for you. Amen. Stay strong. He's there always. Even when it feels like you're alone, you're not alone. You're not. He's always there. And when you feel that way, you just keep praying to him. I know you'll never leave me or forsake me. You're lying. That's a lie from the enemy. You're a liar. Shut your mouth. He promised me. I'd never leave you or forsake you. That's a promise when you accept him as your Lord and Savior. So you tell the devil to shut his mouth in the name of Jesus. I will never leave you. And when he comes to you, see that? He's not with you anymore. That's a lie. I rebuke him and all of them fallen demons in the name of Jesus. Remember that. Focus on them scriptures. Joshua 1, Deuteronomy 31, 8, and Hebrews 13, verse 5, there toward the bottom, and 6. He's your helper, okay? Focus on them. Amen. Anyway, remember, he's got you. Amen. He's got me too, okay? Amen.